Welcome back. Serving young women in desperate need to escape perilous uh, lifestyles. Well, Passion's story is now set to open its first of its kind nonprofit salon right here in the Duke City that is providing those who are in desperate for or desperate for change rather a stepping stone that closes the gaps for local nonprofits to better serve this demographic. Now we are joined this morning by Priscilla Smith, finding out more about Passion's story and how it is helping women live the life that they want and deserve. Priscilla, it's great to have you with us. Hi, thank you for having me. Absolutely. So we were kind of talking about this before we came on air. So let's talk about uh, the story behind Passion's story, uh, how it all came to be. Um, well, I'm a salon owner here in town. I've been a salon owner for seven years. Mm -hmm. um, and throughout my experience, um, I noticed um, a trend and how the beauty industry can actually reach out to those that not only are in need, but perhaps might have a history of trauma. Mm -hmm. And so um, what I noticed is little things like when your first client um, rebooks with you, there's something that that does to your psyche. Um, it allows you to accept the fact that somebody wants to see you and somebody wants to be near you um, in a healthy way. And so um, that's just one of the many things that I noticed um, that actually started um, um, in a, almost in a sense, um, ver being b very therapeutic mm. um, to those that have had issues with trauma in the past. Um, and of course, you know, after COVID, I started doing some research. Um, and when I learned that 50% of the local homeless population are teenagers, um, I felt like I had an obligation to um, attempt to solve that problem because Currently, um, here in New Mexico, you can start beauty school as early as 16. Mm -hmm. And um, yet, I found that nobody was talking about that. And so, um, it's, it's a very practical solution that we can provide for young ladies. And, um, and then also, not to mention the fact that many of our young youth here in New Mexico are at risk of being trafficked. And so, I thought, why not use the beauty industry flip it on its head, and pull out all the good things from it and use it for good use. What, what kind of a foundation could that provide for those teens that are coming up through those con conditions? Oh, massive. I mean, it's, it, it's a massive stepping stone that essentially allows them to use the beauty industry not only as an outlet, um, but teaching them other things that they could use as a career. Um, so whether that's the beauty industry, there's other things that you learn being in this industry. You learn customer service skills, you learn how to network, um, you're learning office skills. So there's so many other skills that they can utilize being in the beauty industry. Um, but what makes it fun is what young woman you know doesn't like hair, makeup, nails. And so it's something very practical that they can see themselves actually using their hands and using their creative side to be able to, to use that as an outlet and then learn other skills besides just the actual trade. Yeah. yeah. And again, so this is, I mean, this idea is getting off the ground, up and running, yes. uh, you know, gaining steam right now by the end of the year. Uh, still kind of a couple of things that just need to be worked out. Yes, finally. yes, uh, yeah. yes, absolutely. Uh, we're hosting our first gala on February 18th, this Saturday actually, okay. at the Marriott Pyramid. And so um, that fundraiser will spearhead the project. Um, another thing that we're actually working on is we're attaching a child learning center to the nonprofit salon for those that are young moms or single moms. Um, that way they don't have to choose between work and paying for childcare. Sure. Um, so that's a massive project that we're working on as well to open by the end of the year alongside the, the nonprofit salon. Wow, yeah. that is amazing. I mean, yeah. that, this is uh, pretty phenomenal to see and uh, for what you're gonna be providing for uh, certain members of the community here in the Duke City. Um, and again, this, I mean, this effect, it doesn't really, you know, offer too much competition with other local businesses. It, it's, it's operating as its own entity. Correct, that, right? it's operating as its own entity, but the other reason why it doesn't pose um, any issue with it being a competition is because we're actually looking for salon partners. Okay. Uh, we're looking for salon partners to be a part of Passion Story. Um, and what I mean by that is essentially, we wanna teach these young ladies how to network with local sure. salons. And so um, periodically throughout the year, so it's a 12 month program. Okay. Um, so after they graduate beauty school, they come to Passion Story and for 12 months, 
they're earning a sustainable income, and they're also building a clientele. Yeah. And so with the local salons, they're coming in, they're doing demos, and they're networking and, and mentoring them throughout their, their stay there. Right. Um, and then eventually, um, once they graduate our program, then our local salons can hire them, and now they're hiring them with the clientele. Priscilla, thank yeah. you for joining us, and we'll have more yes, information on thank this. Thank you so much. At alwaysonkrqe.com. Thanks. Thank you.